In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The word for today is King of Glory. You might say, Pastor Black, where do you get that? Well, it's taken from the Advent Psalm. The Advent Psalm is Psalm 24. Psalm 24. And I'm going to ask you to read, after I'm finished here, at some time today, Psalm 24. It's a wonderful psalm, starting out with the earth is the Lord's and all this fullness. And um, it mentions who shall stand in the hill of the Lord and who can stand in his holy place. You've got to have clean hands, a pure heart. You've not sworn deceitfully. You've not lifted up your soul to an idol. And then he talks about the, the, uh, the, this is a, an ascent psalm that the people many times sang this psalm as they're heading up to Jerusalem. And they'd sing on the way. That's a good idea. Singing never hurt anybody. And so then we get to the last part of this psalm where five times, five times the word king of glory comes in. He mentions the fact, lift up your heads, O you gates. In other words, he said, Jerusalem, God is so big, the gates there aren't big enough to let him in. Open those gates up so that the full glory of God can come there is to be lifted up your everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. And then the question, who is this King of glory? And the reply is, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O you gates, lift up your everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. And so that's the phrase that uh, we use for this uh, devotion today, the King of Glory. And we say, well, I don't know about that King of Glory. They, all this thing happening in my life is arguing and speaking angry with each other. Uh, they say the Bible is good news, but I can't find much good news in it. And uh, Advent and Christmas, bah humbug, uh, the um, Scrooge and little tiny Tim and everybody else, Throw it out the window. They throw it out the window. Well, that's the way it's going to be unless, unless you see, hear, and understand the king of glory. The king of glory. That's what Christmas was about. And the glory of the Lord shone round about them. About what? The baby Jesus. The gospel. The good news. And may it always be the good news. The king of glory as we exchange presents or credit cards or whatever we do and gift cards and the presents reminding ourselves of God's great presence to the world and to us, even the wise men coming and give presents to Jesus. The King of Glory, as I've said, the Word became flesh. I love that word. Flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld His glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of truth and grace. Do you see what we're talking about in Advent, the King of Glory? We're talking about Jesus. We're talking about the good news that God loved us so much He sent His Son. We're talking about the one who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father without me. The King of Glory on that cross said, of glory, it is finished. I've paid for everything needs to be done for the salvation of the world. It's finished, it's paid in full, it's done, and he dies. The king of glory, the king of glory, three days later, oh, what a wonderful day, what a wonderful time. This is what makes Advent and everything in your life and mine worthwhile and meaningful, that Jesus is the king of glory, because we now come to that point where we hear those wonderful words where they were said, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He's not here, he's risen. And we reply in those wonderful words, Christ is risen, he's risen indeed. Hallelujah. And what a blessing that is to know and to have that and to know and be thankful for that blessing that comes and gives to us every time. So Advent Blues, no. God's good news, yes. This is a day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. And I'm going to conclude this series now in this word with these words. 
that I hope you can, I can almost hear you coming through the microphone when I say it. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless us, O Lord. Bless us this Advent because we have in our hearts Jesus Christ, the King of glory. Lift up the gates. Lift up the hearts. And let him in and make a difference. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you.